Good morning. Welcome to the Transparency. Go let those notifications kick in. So you get to see the intro twice. It's just two minutes. I was just working on something, so sorry for the delay. Uh, definitely worth the wait. Um, again, good morning from Truth and Transparency. Um, nothing like a beautiful, sunny Tuesday. Check it out. celebrate but the arrest of Richard M. Allen of Delphi on two counts of murder is sure a major step in leading to the conclusion of this long-term and complex investigation. Of this long-term and complex investigation. Of this long-term and complex investigation this long-term and complex investigation. Again, good morning, everybody. Um, like I said, just working out some stuff. Uh, woo, woo. Well, this morning's episode <clears throat> is uh, going to feature a little bit of a trigger to some people. I uh, just want everybody to know that, again, this is for educational purposes. Um but I was able to track down through a confidential informant that <clears throat> the video that you are about to see, it's about an hour, um, and it is in real time catching um, a man out of Peru, Indiana, right around the same age as uh, King Klein. And this man, Randy, living just a couple doors down from the woman that Keegan Klein's dad dated, Jill. <clears throat> so again, I want you guys to to focus in this is like a Chris Hansen type of an episode but it is um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen something like this but I want you guys to check it out and the reason that this is uh, I think very important is because if everybody is saying that things in uh, that area Delphi Peru um, Kokomo then uh, as far as uh, a child pornography ring, things of that nature. I want you guys to take a look at this. <clears throat> mm. And I will be breaking down some stuff uh, during uh, the episode. So 
you can also be interactive in chat. Please be uh, kind to one another. Uh, again, I want to thank my mods for being here, especially Mod Squad. She gifted out 10 new memberships. Uh, when was it? On Sunday? Sunday night? Uh, again, a special thank you to her. She is phenomenal as a person, um, a mother, a friend. Again, thanks, Mod Squad. Appreciate you. If not, um, it is what it is. We'll release. This is uh, going to be an interesting one. We don't know if we're going to do a catch or not, so we're just going to see. So, hello, hello, hello. Um, we're out here and on this back road, if you can't tell. Um, it's the same guy from last night who was doing games with us, so we are going to go knock on the door and see if he'll answer and if he wants to talk if not um it is what it is we'll release expose his pictures and everything so i mean like my fear the beard shirt Ooh. so okay um wish us luck um but yeah it's the guy from last night we'll see he might not be here so he might not be here, so we don't know. Are you good? Good? You good? Huh? I know that somebody is with you. Huh? I'll walk up and give me like a signal or something. Okay, I'll say something with me. If it takes you long, I'm just gonna walk up. Okay. You usually do anyway. We will see. You ready? Yeah, we don't know if, if this guy's even going to be here. Yeah. Could be a womp, womp, womp. A womp, womp, womp. I want to ride that four-wheeler. It's a nice day out. Huh? I did not lose a ton of weight. Actually, I'm the biggest I've ever been in my entire life. So, but thank you for thinking I did, sir. He said it. She wants lost, lost weight catching chow mouse. Well, I don't care, though. Is this the house right here? You ready? Yep. Okay. Watch your back. Eric's not up here yet. What's up? Why didn't you come out here? Why are you being weird? What's up? 
You didn't meet me at the, the laundromat. Your phone dead? Yeah, I just woke up. Oh, what's up? I brought my cousin's with me, is that Hi. cool? Hi. How are you? What's up? Sleepy? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up like that. <laughs> it's so it's nice so out here. Hot. Come on, come out. I know, it feels better out here under the shade. What's up? She just parked like over here. Is that okay? Yeah, like I, I didn't know where to park. Huh? You got a cigarette? Thank God. She parked over here. You want to walk over there and get her car? Because I don't know if that place is going to tow it or not. Over here. It won't tow it. Are you awake? No. Do <laughs> you know how to ride that? No. Do you know That's him? why you're under a blanket. What's up? You want to... It's pretty quiet out here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. You're white. Thanks. Uh, you got... We got a little tree if you want to smoke. Yeah. I don't know how to roll. You will? Okay. You guys want to go? Yeah, you can. Oh, that's why I brought her because you said you wanted to drive, so. Is this like your house right here? I know. You've been staying here? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, yeah. Now we can come back in a minute if you want, if you have to. The laundry mat's closed. You know that? The laundry mat's closed. Why'd you tell me to go there? It's closed. On Sunday? Yeah. Well, they, I think they closed just a minute ago. And we're like cars there. Like, there. Yeah, I parked them at that old house, that place I didn't up there. Know We can have like a calm conversation about what's up. What's up? Okay. Yeah. Or I can go ahead and I can just contact the police and hand it all over. Okay. What do you mean, what do you mean Randy? Come on. We all know. We know. Look, I'm videotaping for my safety and yours because I don't know who you are and I don't want you to beat me up. I'm not a law enforcement uh, officer. Yeah. yeah, but I have someone with me because I don't know who you are again. We are not here to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to do nothing. I want to have a conversation. You told me that you just got out of jail. So before I drop this off, I would like to have a conversation about it, okay? Because um, I want to help you. I, I don't know. I want to help myself. So yes, yeah, so we need to have a conversation. I, I don't want we to are not me. here to hurt you. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay? Do you understand? You are free to leave at yeah. any time. Do you understand that? Um, we go that Yeah. Do you, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's walk. But do you understand that you're free to leave and I'm not a cop? Okay, I'm not a police officer, okay? You yeah, understand that? Yeah. Okay, what's going on? Just woke up. No, but, um, up thing, no. Do you want to walk down here a little bit and talk, or you want yeah. me to start talking now? No. I'm just an idiot. What do you mean by that? Explain. Oh, whatever the fuck I was, well, was doing it? on the fucking internet. Very illegal. What exactly were you doing? Yeah, what was illegal? I was supposedly talking to her. Yes. And I'm, not, I'm not proud of you. I'm sorry, what? Don't hit me. Don't hit me. We're not, not here gonna... to hit. Like, look. Here, you can have this back, so you might want it later. I don't really smoke. Yeah. All right, guys, again, welcome to the Transparency. What we are going to be watching here is this is uh, from a couple months back. Um, his name is Randy. 
and Randy, <clears throat> as you're going to see what what transpires, I will be stopping and explaining as we go. But this video has been out, but the connections have not been out. And I'm going to connect some dots for you and this person living just um, a couple doors down from the woman that Klein's dad, Tony Anthony, dated. So, neighbors. Oh, you can go over here to the yeah, side. Yeah, so, so we don't. Pulls Ain't nobody here to hurt you, okay? I do want to understand, yeah, what the hell is going on? What is your thought process? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. You from here? Yeah. So. What was the plan? You were going to have this 14-year-old come to the laundromat and leave her stranded again? I, I fell asleep, man. I'm sorry. You had her drive all the way here twice now. And then conveniently your phone was off. Okay, so right there, <clears throat> I want to explain. He is talking to a 14-year-old online. He had two different accounts under Meet Me. Just like Dirk Hayes did. And just like, allegedly, Keegan Klein had. 14, right around the same age um, as Libby, Abby. Um, same area, same connections. <clears throat> it wasn't just once, it was twice that this alleged meetup, but he never came. I want to know what kind of games you're playing. Man. I'm not playing no games. No, um, no, because you you had this little girl walk this way, walk that way, come over here. No, I, I'm I over wanna, here. You literally gave me a headache trying to figure out I, what the I, hell I, is I, going I, on. I, I, I fell asleep earlier, and I'm sorry. That time, I mean, I'm. Um, what was up last night? What happened? I was scared. Will you take your sunglasses off? Take them Why off too. Scared? Okay. I thought I was gonna get. You know, and some bad shit. You think you were gonna get beat up? Yeah, I, you know, I probably deserve it. Was well, I say? I know I do, but Can you speak up a little bit? I can't hear you. I deserve it. I would deserve it because that's just, I don't know. I'm sorry. Do you have kids? Uh, in military school. Do so you have no kids? I'm about, I don't know. You what? I said I'm about to go to fucking, um, back up to Fort Wayne rehab facility thing for my head. For your head? What do you mean by that? Um, I don't know, kind of slow, keep coming. What? Stupid, stupid. Like learning disability or recovering addict? Or recovering addict. What recovering or still, uh, still an addict? Borderline. I ain't here to judge you, okay? No. I just want to know what's going on. Yeah, because you said yesterday you were out dealing drugs. Yeah. So that would lead me to believe if you're touching it, you're probably doing it right. Yeah. I mean, how, how could you not, right? Yeah. I mean, it'd be kind of hard. Didn't you just say you got out of jail for possession? And you are you were dealing drugs yesterday? Uh, what? So what? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Man. Look, we're not the cops, bro. I'm, I don't know. This. Uh, what kind of drugs? Uh, meth. Huh? Meth. You're, you're dealing meth. Yeah. <gasps> dealing and doing meth. I don't want to touch your shirt because you're doing meth. So. <clears throat> On May 20th, 2021, Randy was arrested at 1.29 a.m. in connection with methamphetamines. Because it could have something on it. So you were going to bring a 14-year-old and that piece of shit? I didn't know what I was going to do. I mean, dude, yeah, dude, I was going to... You were walking up and down. You were you were trying to get her to walk exactly to where you were. You were going to meet up with this girl and take her back to that... Shit, hold on. I'm Are you serious? I'm not proud of it at all. I'm, I'm, 
and bears and shang. So we've, we've established that you asked her to come here twice. Uh, we established that you were going to have her meet at the camper, right? Yes? Yeah. Okay. What were you going to do when you got to the camper? Smoke pot. I'm going to fool myself. Smoke pot. And what else did you state that you wanted to do? Something that wouldn't have happened. Wouldn't have happened. Okay, so... Your intent through shit. text messages, that's what I want to hear. What you said that you said through text message. What were you going to do with her when you got to the camper? Oh, man. The more detail, the better. It is embarrassing. So I was going to have sex with it. Huh? You're going to have sex with it. Well, and not so. I know. What What did? What was the verbiage in there? What What did you exactly I say? Like I was talking to a grown adult, which is wrong. I've got the text messages here. I, I, I want you to. I want you to say because I don't want to read them out loud. So you know what she said. Just say um, it. Live your truth. Speak it. I don't want. I was gonna fuck shit up. You say you're gonna fuck shit up. Well, I mean, I can't remember exactly. I can't understand. You said what? I was gonna fuck the shit out of you. Okay. I, yeah, but I mean, not this exactly. So you're going to rape a little girl? No. Not, huh? um, oh, no, sorry, sorry. You wouldn't have raped her. You would have had sex with her. I don't, I don't know, man. Huh? I don't, no, well, no, no I don't want her. No, fuck. Well, she just sent a picture today, and you said, yes, baby, I would like to fuck. Slotted my dick inside. Oh, oh, and that tongue just I looks mean. challenging, sweet. Damn, you kind of just made my dick hard. Wild. Did you just say that? Did you say that to a 14-year-old girl today? Did I read that correctly? And did you did you text that or somebody else has your phone? Uh, it, was, it, was, yeah, it was me. It was you. Um, are are you coming down off Beth right now? Is that why you're kind of struggling here? I'm struggling because this is I should know better. I mean, what do you mean by that? You're not you're not very good at explaining yourself. I need you to explain yourself when you say something. You're gonna I say know the explain difference yourself. from right and wrong, and I even struggled with it in the conversations a little bit with it, and I made the wrong fucking decision. Repeat that first statement for me. I struggled. No, the first statement you said. I know the difference between right. And I know wrong. the difference between right and wrong, and I struggled with the whole situation, and I mean, and I fucking made the wrong decision. You know, so to me, those text messages doesn't show much struggle. You struggled I, because you were sketched out. You didn't struggle to say sexual shit to who you thought was a 14-year-old child or a 14-year-old child. Did you? Didn't struggle. How long have you guys been talking? Um, like two days, three. I don't know. Uh, maybe four, I think. Yeah, a couple days now. May 30th, to be exact. May 30th. You reached out to her and said, Hey, cutie, how's your day? She said, Good. What about you? You said, Shit, boring. I'm by myself. Might you want to hang out? This is, again, bef I, I this did, is before the age. You were just asking a girl to hang out. She says, Where are you from? How old are you? You said, I'm from Peru and I'm 39. How about yourself, dear? She says, Wabash, 14. Nice to meet you. You said, What the fuck? You're only 14. Good Lord, my bad. Nice to meet you also. She said, I don't care. Oh, well, you said, what you mean you don't care? Care explain, so I don't feel so much like a cradle robber. And then you try to video chat her. Immediately. What What were you gonna say in that video chat? I have no idea. Don't remember. Was you high when you're making those statements? Um, I'm hot. I'm hot, yeah. Does that sound like you okay. struggled? You said struggle earlier. I Does this did. have conversation sound like you struggled? You immediately called her. Did you struggle with the age? Lead not. me to believe not, huh? She says, ha ha, I'm not five. He said, but you're not 18 either, and you are sexy as fuck. I thought you was way older, Dorcas. She said, well, I'm not, silly. What are you on, though? She, you said, shit, I don't know, bored young lady. You refer to her as young lady. Trying to find me a sexy companion to go adventuring with. What are you allowed to do with a guy old enough to be your dad? She said, what kind of adventure? laugh my ass off whatever he wants what do you mean aloud you said i don't know an adult adventure drug sex rock and roll silly adult shit man send me a picture i don't believe you're that young she sends a picture and then you say do you remember what you said after that first picture you said are you driving you're a little wild fucker aren't you probably already taking the d and shit what what do you mean the d 
Can you explain what the D means? I don't want to. I'm sorry. This is where we're get. Okay, you you being uh, honest is gonna help you. I, the, 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 um, dick. Okay, the dick. She said, ha ha, no, I'm not driving. You said, who's that? You guys want to hang or what, silly? Please don't tell no one about mm. us. Talking or what not, it could get me into out of trouble, my dear. So what up? You tell me what's going on. She said, laugh my ass off. I ain't no snitch. You said, good. She said, but she kind of lame, so I don't know if she, you're trying to chill with all of us. You said, what do you mean, lame? Shit, you going to free of her or what? You chill or what? So pretty quickly, you were you're pretty adamant about hanging out with this 14 year old. Is that correct? Mm, uh, yeah. Do you know what the word adamant means? Uh, yeah. Like you're really trying to talk with this 14 year old. Mm. You said, or just drive around and find some pot. You said, or just drive your sexy ass around. Oh. Are you, what are you saying? I said I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Is that what you were saying? <laughs> You said, damn, I want to do so many naughty things to you. Is that true? Not no more, man. Oh, now you're going to lie? No, Thank you, I'm not lying. Hey. I'm not lying. Okay, just... I think you need to be completely honest. This is how you're going to get help. You want to explain to him why we're out here today? Um, I was talking to a supposed 14-year-old girl on the internet, man. I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. I made a wrong decision. Oh, fuck. Get up. It was a wrong decision, man. I was... What'd you come here for? Huh? What'd you come here for? Here? Yeah. They, I stay in the camper right down there. So what? I stay in the camper right down there. It's on the This way? Yeah. Down that way. Um, I'm an idiot. So shame, What? So you're supposed to meet someone here? No, I was you're supposed to meet her as long as you might, but I fell asleep. And these guys knocked on the door. And got me out of the gate. So he was supposed to meet that 14 year old last night. Um, but I didn't. Well, well, we'll just wait and let him talk to him. Cop. Well, I'll mean, talk to the other cop. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I... So should be fine. What was said that you were going to meet, meet with her? A lot of inappropriate stuff that I should have mm, knew better than me. I just should have knew better than me. There was no uh, physical nothing on I me. Mean, I just said a lot of inappropriate shit that I'm embarrassed about. And, I mean, damn. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, she is. Yeah. I mean, yeah, she's with us. Okay. He was too scared. Yeah. Yes. Nice to meet you. Um, he tried to video call her. So, in the beginning, he was just talking about hanging out, going on an adventure. So for a couple of days, he was asking her to hang out, and then um, he wanted to go to the, the sexual party. So, he's talking about getting a tie. Um, 
I want to do a mini mom phone with you. Let me see this picture for the application. This is him asking, can we get a right to go to Peru again? Um, and I asked, what's the plan? The plan is coming up, talking to me, riding my dick while we smoke her. Shorty sent me some leave to his asking for leads from the 14 year old as well in this day. Um, then it goes back and forth because I couldn't make it up here. He gives me a phone number. We stay on here for a while. I do have texts with him as well. He knows, she, he knows she's a younger because he here yeah, because I can get in a lot of trouble. Talking about getting caught, sneak out, hang out. Huh? Another part, like I want to pull your paintings off and get a Guys, I'm not sure that we are, have actually had a catch here in Peru, so I'm not sure if they arrest or not. <clears throat> now I want to talk about the connection. Um, people have seen this uh, video before. Uh, again, a confidential informant before Alan was arrested, one of the 70,000 tips that came out um, was that this man had uh, involvement with the Delphi murders. Um, I went ahead and looked a little bit deeper into this gentleman. We're going to call him Randy. Um, they say his name at the beginning, Randy. That is his name. Randy, again, May 20th of 2021, was arrested for possession of methamphetamines as well as let's see here I want to read it off exactly um, yeah on Tuesday uh, May 20th 2021 at approximately 1:29 a.m. officers arrested Randy um, the five hundred block of East Fifth Street, Peru, on um, a, a violation of probation and a charge of possession of methamphetamines. Again, that was May twentieth, two thousand and twenty-one. Now, <clears throat> a confidential informant, prior to Alan ever being arrested for the murders, um, said that it was not. Keeping the line, but you needed to look at this man, Randy, in connection with the Delphi murders. Well, I went ahead and looked a little bit further into Randy, and Randy is the neighbor of Keegan Klein's dad's, uh, well, it was his girlfriend at the time, not sure if they broke up, uh, literally just residing um, a couple houses apart on Main Street. Um, no one's ever talked about a connection there. Um, 
could these people know each other? They're doing the same shit. They're using the Meet Me app. I went ahead and I looked at Randy. Randy has two Meet Me accounts. Two member Meet Me accounts. Same way that Keegan said that he was meeting his people through Anthony Schatz. Um, so a connection here is literally neighbors. Tony. Klein's like main squeeze. Because I don't know who you are again. We are not here to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to do nothing. I want to have a conversation. You told me that you just got out of jail. So before I drop this off, I would like to have a conversation about it, okay? Because um, I want to help you. I, I, I know. I want to help myself. So. Yes, so we need to have a conversation. We are not here to hurt you. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay? Do you understand? You are free to leave at any time. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you, okay. Okay, that's fine. Let's walk. But do you understand that... You're free to leave and I'm not a cop, okay? I'm not a police officer, okay? Do you understand that? Okay. What's going on? Do you want to walk down here a little bit and talk or do you want me to start talking now? We're not <laughs> here to hit, like, look, okay, you can have this back, so you might want it later. I don't really smoke. You can, have it back. You can go over here to the yeah, side. Yeah, so, so we don't. Pulls out. Ain't no way here to hurt you, okay? I do want to understand, yeah, what the hell is going on? What is your thought process? I don't fucking know. You from here? So, what was the plan? You were gonna have this 14 year old come to the laundromat and leave her stranded again? I fell I asleep, man. I'm sorry. You had her drive all the way here twice now. And then conveniently, your phone was off. Okay, boom, right there. What I wanted to mention right there is conveniently, your phone was off. Okay, boom. So, this guy has um, this 14-year-old girl not drive once but twice. He was a pussy-ass bitch, and he wouldn't meet her, okay? Um, again, don't know. I'm not going to think like them uh, and their thought process, but, you know, Abby and Libby was, people were talking in the past. Did there Was there a plan to meet at a different time? Was that the first time that they were ever supposed to meet? Things like that. I'm looking at the similarities here in the approach on um, your approaching and that you knew that these that this girl and she said she was with her friends uh 14 same age right using the meet me app same application um can you get dropped off you're going to hear that a little bit uh down the road here again is why i'm playing it again but right here and then you shut your phone off you shut your phone off listen again you from here so what was the plan you were gonna have this 14 year old come to a laundromat and leave her stranded again i fell, I fell asleep man i'm sorry you had her drive all the way here twice now and then conveniently your phone was off right when you were supposed to leave. I fell asleep. Sorry. I just woke up. I, I, I want to know what kind of games you're playing, man. I'm not playing no games. No, um, no, because you, you had this little girl walk this way, walk that way, 
come over here. No, I'm over here. You literally gave me a headache trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Boom, second thing. I'm gonna replay it, listen to the words. You literally had me walking over here, walk over here, walk over there. So think about on February 13th, you know, I said it um, on a couple of the past episodes as far as was it something like, hey, I'm over here. And then the girls are taking a picture like this is the only guy that's around here. This is the only person that's around here. Like we're, we're, we're right here and you're not here. That type of thing. This is exactly the same scenario. Listen, please listen. I have all the way here twice now. And then conveniently your phone was off right when you were supposed to be. I fell asleep. Sorry. I just woke up. Oh, I, I want to know what kind of games you're playing. Right? I'm not playing no games. No, no, because you, you had this little girl walk this way walk that way come over here no I, I i'm over wanna, here you literally gave me a headache trying to figure out I, what the I, hell I, is I, going I, on I, I, I fell asleep earlier and i'm sorry that time i mean um what was up last night what happened i was scared Will you take your sunglasses off take them off too scared? okay so think about that <clears throat> you literally had me walking this way you had me walking that way come on over here come down here guys down the hill there is so many um similarities when you break this down um why didn't you meet up last night because i was scared um, he knows that he can get in trouble. He shut off his phone. This guy's, I mean, this guy's dumb as fuck, no doubt. He's fucking sick as fuck. Dumb as fuck. Um. You think you were gonna get beat up? He didn't meet up. He was scared. He thought he was gonna get into some bad shit. He thought he was gonna get into some bad shit. Now, do you mean like in trouble bad shit or were you too scared because other people were going to join you type of thing? <clears throat> and guys, we're not talking, this stuff obviously goes on. We're talking about uh, this. This is the same area. Um, and this is the same circumstances, in my opinion, in, in terms of same age, uh, luring them to go to a you know, the laundry mat's a public place. Uh, a park is public, you know, but it's a little more, you know, secluded. Um, but the part of come walk over this way, or no, 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 you got to go over there, or you got to go over here. Um, this is this is connected to Libby and Abby, same area. And I, I mean, I, can you not see what was running across the, um, the top of that screen for the past hour, bad girl? Or are you just here to, like, be a troll? I mean, can you read? Because I know you can write. Can you read? Um, this person was one of the 70,000 tips that went in by a long-standing confidential informant for that area, for this area. Um, long-standing his name was given you guys are the wrong person wrong person you need to look at this person you need to look at this person um boom <clears throat> so with that being said you have to walk over here no come over here no go over there well libby abby Tony's neighbor. This is Tony. This is his neighbor. This is his girlfriend's neighbor. Don't believe me? Go look it up. Um, literally neighbor. His girlfriend's neighbor, who his girlfriend now is no longer with Tony, by the way. Um, 
But Libby and Abby are over here like, well, we're right here. We're, you know, where is this? You know, he, and he's saying, I'm right here. I'm right here. Then what does she do? Records. This is who's only around here. Sends it. <clears throat> um, boom. Can you speak up a little bit? I can't hear you. I deserve it. I would deserve it because that's just. I don't know. I'm sorry. Do you have kids? Uh, no to school. Do you have no kids? I'm about. I don't know. You what? I said I'm about to go to fucking um, back up to Fort Wayne to a rehab facility thing for my head. For your head? What do you mean by that? Um. Like learning disability or recovering addict? Or well, recovering addict. Mm-hmm. Recovering or still, still an addict? Borderline. I ain't here to judge you, okay? No. I just want to know what's going on. Yeah, because you said yesterday I, you were out dealing drugs. Yeah. So that would lead me to believe if you're touching it, you're probably doing it, right? Yeah, I mean, how, how could you not, right? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of hard. Didn't you just say you got out of jail for possession? And you're, you were dealing drugs yesterday? Uh, what, so what? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Man. Look, we're not the cops, bro. I'm, I don't know. This, uh, what kind of drugs? Uh, meth. Huh? Meth. You're, you're dealing meth. Yeah. Oh. Dealing and doing meth. I don't want to touch your shit. Because you're doing meth, so. I'm sorry. Because yeah, it could have something on it. So you were going to bring a 14-year-old and that piece of shit? I didn't know what I was doing. I mean, dude, yeah, dude, I was going to... You were walking up and down. You were wait, you were trying to get her to walk exactly to where you were. You were going to meet up with this girl and take her back to that... Shit, hold on. I'm Are you serious? Of, I'm not proud of it at all. I'm, I'm embarrassed and shame. So we've, we've established that... You asked her to come here twice. Uh, we established that you were going to have her meet at the camper, right? Yes? yes. Okay. What were you going to do when you got to the camper? Smoke pot. Make a fool of myself. Smoke pot. And what else did you state that you wanted to do? Something that wouldn't have happened. Wouldn't have happened. Okay, so... Your intent through shit. text messages, that's what I want to hear. What you said that you said through text message. What were you going to do with her when you got to the camper? Oh, man. The more detail, the better. It is embarrassing. So I was going to have sex with. Huh? You're going to have sex with. Well, and not so. I know. What What did? What was the verbiage in there? What What did you exactly I say? Like I was talking to a grown adult, which is wrong. I've got the text messages here. I, I, I want you to. I want you to say because I don't want to read them out loud. So you know what she said. Just say um, it. Live your truth. Speak it. I don't want. I was gonna fuck shit up. So you're gonna fuck the shit up. Well, I mean, I can't remember exactly. I can't understand. You said what? I was gonna fuck the shit out of you. Okay. I, yeah, but I mean, not exactly. So you're gonna rape a little girl? No, not. Huh? Um, oh, no, sorry, sorry. You wouldn't have raped her. You would have had sex with her. I don't, I don't know, man. Huh? I don't know. Well, no, you said. I don't want her. No, fuck. Well, she just sent a picture today, and you said, "Yes, baby, I would like to fuck." Sliding my dick inside, oh, oh, oh. and that tongue just looks know. challenging, sweet. Damn, you kind of just made my dick hard, wild. Did you just say that? Did you say that to a 14-year-old girl today? Did I read that correctly? And did you did you text that or somebody else has your phone? Uh, it, was, it, was, yeah, it was me. It was you. Um, are are you coming down off meth right now? Is that why you're kind of struggling here? I'm struggling because this is why I shouldn't have done. What do you mean by that? 
You're not, you're not very good at explaining yourself. I need you to explain yourself when you say something. You're gonna I say know the explain difference yourself. from right and wrong, and I even struggled with it in the conversations a little bit with it, and I made the wrong fucking decision. Repeat that first statement for me. I struggled. No, the first statement. You said, I know the difference between right and wrong. I know the difference between right and wrong, and I struggled with the whole situation. And, I mean, and I fucking made the wrong decision. You know, so to me, those text messages doesn't show much struggle. You struggled I, because you were sketched out. You didn't struggle to say sexual shit to who you thought was a 14-year-old child. Or a 14-year-old child. Did you? Didn't struggle. How long have you guys been talking? Um, like two days, three. I don't know. Uh, maybe four, I think. Yeah, a couple days now. <coughs> May 30th, to be exact. May 30th. You reached out to her and said, Hey, cutie, how's your day? She said, Good. What about you? You said, Shit, boring. I'm by myself. Might you want to hang out? This is, again, bef- I this I is I before the you. age. You're just asking a girl to hang out. She says, Where are you from? How old are you? You said, I'm from Peru and I'm 39. How about yourself, dear? She says, Wabash, 14. Nice to meet you. You said, What the fuck? You're only 14. Good lord, my bad. Nice to meet you also. She said, I don't care. Oh, well, you said, what you mean you don't care? Care explain. So I don't feel so much like a cradle robber. And then you try to video chat her. Immediately. What What were you gonna say in that video chat? I have no idea. Don't remember. Was you high when you're making those statements? Again, this is um, Randy, and he used two different meet me accounts he was a member with two different uh, accounts meet me uh, same thing that Dirk and Keegan were doing uh, just literally living a couple doors down from uh, Klein's girlfriend at the time both living there down on Main Street um, literally just a couple doors down uh, literally well, just wild shit um anyways the this came out after a confidential informant gave a tip to law enforcement that this this man was involved and this is who you need to look for in the delphi case not keegan um this is what a confidential informant tipped in um Obviously, there were 70,000 tips. We've heard that. We've also heard that there was tits. Um, If you guys didn't catch that blunder, go back and check one of my episodes out. Um, But if things are coincidence, uh, I don't believe in those, especially when you're talking about small window of time, uh, everything's like the same, you're using the same applications, uh, neighbor, same area, um, same age. But this person was scared, as he says. But more importantly, he's giving answers very similar to that of, it's like he's being interrogated right here. How long have you been talking to this person? He doesn't at least say that somebody else is using his phone. He says, yeah, no, it was me. Um, because people try to go off and do this stuff themselves. If it's a ring, you go off and you try to do this yourself. Um, And this is what I think that is, is somebody trying to go off and do this um, themselves from, you know, the collaborative efforts. Uh, So when someone goes off on their own to do this, uh, listen to his verbiage. But the big thing that caught me is that you're saying, come over here and meet me, come over here and meet me, come over here, walk here, walk here, walk there. And that is what I think happened on February 13th. Um, I think there was a lot of communication, you know, back and forth. But then he says he shut his phone off. He shut his phone off. Why? Why would you shut your phone off? Um, Not to feed the defense. (laughs) No one's feeding anybody. Um... The truth is the truth. You don't need to feed anybody. Um, facts are facts. What if Alan didn't do it? How, think about this. What if you were in prison right now? And you don't even know why. Would you be pretty pissed? 
I wasn't be like, well, he has to know why. Really? Because if you don't think that there's corruption, you're crazy. Number one. If you don't think people can be framed, you're crazy. Number two. So I believe in our U.S. Constitution. And our U.S. Constitution also says once you are found guilty, you can be hung, basically fried. So, but in order for justice to prevail, you have to, it's due process. You, you wrong one man, you wrong us all. Okay? Sheldon Jeter Jr. is in prison right now, wrongfully convicted. Why? Corruption. Why? Police didn't do their jobs right. Why? He didn't have the proper defense. He was set up. He was framed. 100%. I can prove it. That's what I'm doing right now in Pennsylvania. So, to say that anybody would be feeding the defense, if the truth is feeding anybody, the truth is the truth. If it means that uh, he's convicted over the truth, or he's let go because of the truth, and he's exonerated, the truth is the truth. Um, but feeding anybody, he doesn't even have a defense right now. He doesn't even have a fucking lawyer right now. Nobody knows where he's at. Who knows if he's talked to his lawyer. Um, I want justice for Abby and Libby. And in order to get justice, due process has to happen. Otherwise, he could be freed and have done it. So due process needs to happen um, in order for Libby and Abby to have um, and their families to get justice. <clears throat> these circumstances, this is what you call circumstantial evidence and things like that, these circumstances are very, very similar. You know, you know, asking this guy, maybe he's not involved, but what got you to, to, to do this? Have you ever done this with other people? You know, talking to this man, sitting him down, talking to him. Um, and uh, I love you, Pisces. I hope you're a Pisces, because I am too. If you're not a Pisces, I'm going to be upset that that's in your name. I think you're a Pisces, though. Um... You know, sitting him down, maybe getting some answers, maybe it's already happened. But a confidential informant that's a, a long-standing confidential informant from this area um, of these, you know, Kokomo, Peru, Delphi, Logansport, um, what else is over right over there? I think I hit him all. He coughed up this name before this ever happened. Um, so, and when I say he coughed up this name, he coughed up Randy's name before this ever happened in connection, and you need to look at this person. So I just went ahead and I looked a little deeper into this person and noticed that they were the neighbor um, of the... Uh, the woman that Tony Klein was sexually involved with. Um, believe he married, but I'm, I'm, I'm holding back to say that um, because I physically haven't seen um, any marriage license, but definitely in a relationship. And then after the, uh, the homicides, they had split not too long after. <clears throat> um, again, does this have conversation sound like you struggled? I immediately called her. Did you struggle with the age? Leave me to believe not, huh? She says, ha ha, I'm not five. You said, but you're not 18 either, and you are sexy as fuck. I thought you was way older, Dorcas. She said, well, I'm not silly. What are you on, though? She, you said, shit, I don't know. Bored, young lady. You refer to her as young lady. Trying to find me a sexy companion to go adventuring with. What are you allowed to do with a guy old enough to be your dad? 
I know uh, Bella's probably out there saying, I want to baseline this guy. Um, and he is keeping his hands, what is it, like cross chest to his body. So I bet you would love to baseline this guy. Just throwing that out there. Um, <clears throat> again, yes, today's episode, uh, Connecting the Dots in Delphi. Randy here um, from the area, grew up in the area, knows the area very well, and literally, when you want to say the word lured, lured a 14-year-old to where he was, the neighbors of the person, um, the father of, you know, Keegan Klein, uh, and that's his girlfriend at the time, right here's your neighbor, involved with methamphetamines, big part of uh, the drugs that the family is involved with. Um, whether you want to say they just take drugs or sell drugs, they are definitely involved with drugs. Um, when, when someone doesn't have a job, but yet they have a lot of things, what do you think they're doing? Um, I think that's said numerous times in the interview with, uh, with Keegan, like, Hey, um, how are you able to buy this if you don't have a job? And that's when he's like putting it all on Allie, his girlfriend. Oh, she works and she buys me this and she buys me that. Um, so this is connected a hundred percent in terms of this person was named to the police prior to this ever happening right here um was named to the police by a confidential informant that is like 15 20 years deep as far as a confidential informant um his name was given up and said you need to look at him keegan didn't do anything like that um <clears throat> let's see So what kind of adventure? Laugh my ass off. Whatever he wants. What do you mean aloud? He said, I don't know. An adult adventure. Drug, sex, rock and roll. Silly adult shit. Man, send me a picture. I don't believe you're that young. She sends a picture and then you say, do you remember what you said after that first picture? He said, are you driving? You're a little wild fucker, aren't you? Probably already taking the D and shit. What, what do you mean, the D? Can you explain what the D means? I don't want to. I also want to say that um, his age is uh, very similar to the age of the people that uh, Keegan was hanging out with in terms of his cousin, uh, his, again, his dad's other neighbor, Dirk. Um, which if you haven't seen, I'll be going over that again this week. Um, more on Dirk and his baby mama and Keegan's timeline. Um, the reason that Keegan's, I believe, going to say uh, in the in the talks of things is because his name, you know, obviously was was thrown out there early on. Uh, but you can't you can't walk away from the Anthony Schatz connection. That's why his name will always be in this mix you can't walk away from the Anthony Schatz connection and the fact that they were communicating with the Anthony Schatz profile. Um, therefore, his name is always going to be brought up in this. Um, and if you're an, if you were an investigator and this happened um, to someone that you love, I mean, you're going to, you're going to look at the connections and you're going to then dig through the connections um, and see, you know, if it, if it wasn't Keegan, then who was it, you know? And so, here we have an arrest and that would be Richard Allen and it's like this name out of the blue like who's Richard Allen how does this guy get arrested um, you know it literally and you hear from Doug Carter and that's why at the beginning of this it says it's very complicated it's very complicated it's very complicated I believe that it is because it's a it's gonna be a hard case to you know I think prosecute unless you have you know DNA of his and it's you know there at the crime scene um,
But this situation that happened on this day makes... This is where we're getting... Okay, you, you being honest is going to help you. Okay, the dick. She said, ha ha, no, I'm not driving. You said, who's that? You guys want to hang or what, silly? Please don't right there. You guys want to hang or what, silly? He says plural. He has no problem meeting up with two people. Um, same thing would be Libby, Abby, two people. Uh, oh, who are you with? You, 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 know, you know, you guys want to hang. Um, is there another person like, oh yeah, I'll bring a friend too type of thing. Um, but he knows somebody else is driving and has no problem saying, oh, do you both want to hang? Don't tell no one about us. Talking or what not, it could get me into out of trouble, my dear. So what up? You tell me what's going on. She said, laugh my ass off. I ain't no snitch. You said, good. She said, but she kind of lame, so I don't know if you're trying to chill with all of us. You said, what do you mean, lame? Shit, you gonna free of her or what? You chill or what? So pretty quickly, you were you're pretty adamant about hanging out with this 14-year-old. Is that correct? Do you know what the word adamant means? Uh, yeah. Like you're really trying to talk with this 14 year old. You said, or just drive around and find some pot. You said, or just drive your sexy ass around. Are you, what are you saying? I said, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Is that what you were saying? You said, damn, I want to do so many naughty things to you. Is that true? Not no more, man. Oh, now you're going to lie? But Thank you. Hey. I'm not lying. Okay. I'm just... I think you need to be completely honest. This is how you're going to get help. You want to explain to him why we're out here today? Um, I was talking to a supposed 14 year old girl in there, and I mean, I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. I made a wrong decision. Oh, fuck. Get up. Um, it was a wrong decision, man. I was. What'd you come here for? Huh? What'd you come here for? Here? Yeah. They, I stay in the camper right down there. So what? I stay in the camper right down there. It's on the This way? Yeah. Down that way. Um, I'm an idiot. And the worst. The worst. At least we're giving you a I know. With the sunlight hitting you. Eric's styling and profile. He'd be showing us from like down here. Like, yeah. No, then we're going to that dim camera. Come on, Eric. Come on. Hey, they want to know where you got your boots from. Mm -hmm. Eric, a whole damn smack. Not here to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. What a shithole. She just parked like over here. Is that okay? Like, I didn't know where to park. Huh? You got a cigarette? Thank God. Her, she parked over here. You want to walk over there and get her car? Because I don't know if that place is going to tow it or not. Over here? It won't tow it? All right. Are you awake? No. <laughs> You're not even riding that dirt bike. <laughs> I know. Do you know it's one? I'm riding that dirt bike. That's cool. Yeah. What's up? You want to walk? It's pretty quiet out here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. You need a light? It's not a bait, so. You got... We got a little tree if you want to smoke. Yeah. I'm back when I get it, I guess. Yeah. I don't know how to roll. You will? Okay. You guys want to go? Yeah, you can. Oh, that's why I brought her, because you said you wanted to drive, so. It's just like your house. 
house right here. I know. You've been staying here? Oh, I don't like this one. Oh, yeah. And we can come back in a minute if you want, if you have to. The laundry mat's closed. You know that? The laundry mat's closed. Why'd you tell me to go there? It's closed. On Sunday? Yeah. Well, they, I think they closed just a minute ago. Probably. There were like cars there. Yeah, I parked them at that old house, that place I up there. We can have like a calm conversation about what's up. What's up? Okay. Yeah. Or I can go ahead and I can just contact the police and hand it all over. Okay. What do you mean, what do you mean Randy? Come on. We all know. We know. Look, I'm videotaping for my safety and yours because I don't know who you are and I don't want you to beat me up. I'm not a law enforcement we'll officer. Yeah. yeah, but I have someone with me because I don't know who you are again. We are not here to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to do nothing. I want to have a conversation. You told me that you just got out of jail. So before I drop this off, I would like to have a conversation about it, okay? Because um, I want to help you. I, I don't know. I want to have myself. So yes, right. so we need to have a conversation. I, I don't we are not here to hurt you. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay? Do you understand? You are free to leave at yeah. any time. Do you understand that? Um, we go down. Yeah. Do you, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's walk. But do you understand that you're free to leave and I'm not a cop? Okay, I'm not a police officer, okay? You understand that? Okay, what's going on? Just woke up. But, um, do you want to walk down here a little bit and talk, or you want me to start talking now? No, I'm just an idiot. What do you mean by that? Explain. I was whatever the fuck I was doing on the fucking internet. Very illegal. What exactly were you doing? Yeah, what was illegal? I was supposedly talking. Yes. And, and I'm, not, I'm not proud of you. How are you? I'm sorry, what? Don't hit me. Don't hit me. We're not, not here gonna... to hit. Like, look. Here, you can have this back, so you might want it later. I don't really smoke. Right. You, um, have you can go over here to the side. Yeah, so, so we don't. Pulls out. Ain't nobody here to hurt you, okay? Well, I do want to understand. Yeah, what the hell is going on? What is your thought know. process? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. You from here? Yeah. So, what was the plan? You were gonna have this 14-year-old come to the laundromat and leave her stranded again? I feel, I fell asleep, man. I'm sorry. You had her drive all the way here twice now. And then Again, just uh, connected the dots with a couple of these uh, very, very interesting coincidences. Those of you guys that just joined in, truth and transparency, um, Randy here, uh, uh, seen here on camera is a Peru long time resident and neighbor a couple doors down from Tony Klein Keegan's father um, Randy had two different meet me accounts remember I meet me uh, the same way that Keegan was saying how they uh, I'm sorry they said, you know, obviously Instagram, Snap, but also Meet Me. Uh, Dirk, another friend of Keegan, he also had a couple Meet Me accounts. He has Meet Me accounts. Um, and again, just like how Dirk was a neighbor of Tony Klein, literally the next door neighbor on Canal. Um, this guy is a neighbor uh, a couple doors down of where Tony's girlfriend lived. All these neighbors talking to 14, 13 year olds using Meet Me. What? They're all doing the same fucking thing, but nobody knows that they're doing the same thing? Come on. No. Um, <clears throat> so, what we have here is I want you to, right here from this point, for the next 10 minutes of this part of the, the video. Listen to the similarities 
in what happened on February 13th, 2017. If you want to understand um, how February 13th, 2017 uh, could have happened, this is exactly how this could have happened. Um, if the police are saying, and the state police, the FBI, talking about a huge, the, the biggest uh, child pornography ring. A ring is multiple people, not one or two or three, multiple, multiple people. Um, and they're all doing this all the same way. So, check it out. Conveniently, your phone was off right when you were supposed to meet. Conveniently, your phone was off right when you were supposed to meet. He shuts off his phone. Okay? Conveniently. Sorry. He's saying he fell asleep. Well, he looks like pure shit. I, just woke up I, I, I want to know what kind of games you're playing. Man. I'm not playing no games. No, um, no, because you, you had this little girl walk this way, walk that way, come over here. No, I'm over here. Wanted. Right there. Come over here. No, I'm over here. Now think about that. No, I'm over here. Come over here. Okay. Then you have Libby and Abby. Libby takes her phone. She records, you know, was she scanning it? Was she going like this to scan it and say, hey, we're right here. You're not like this. No one's around here. You're not here. Um, everybody's talking about this, you know, down the hill, 43 second clip. Uh, why do you think that, that, why do you think that that was even recorded to be sent? Well, this is exactly why I think. I think that this person, Anthony Schatz, was not there. This hot male model was not there. And he's saying things like, I'm right here, you know, oh, or here, we, we end up walking down over here. We end up going over here. Listen to what he was saying and how he was luring. Um, because it's very, very similar. Um, and if you don't think it is, hey, that's... You can say that you don't think the situation is similar. That's your right. That's your opinion. Um, but when you're comparing this, this is very, very similar. Uh, if you don't want to see it, this is about situations. Um, Literally gave me a headache trying to figure out what the hell is going on. I, I, I fell asleep earlier, and I'm sorry. That time, I mean, I'm... He said that time. Up last night, what happened? Last night. Will you take your sunglasses off? I'll take them off too. Scared? Okay. I thought I was gonna get, you know, I'm just some bad shit. You think you're gonna get beat up? Yeah. I, you know, I probably deserve it. Well, say? Know he says he thought he was gonna get into some bad shit, and then she says you thought you were gonna get beat up. I think she jumped the gun there because I really would want to hear like what he really thought, why he didn't meet up um, that night. But then he continues to talk, okay, here, come over here. No, meet me over here. Come this way. Come over. Walk over here. Go over here. Um, and again, still wasn't going to meet. <clears throat> he thought he was going to get into some bad shit. He pussed out. Can you speak up a little bit? I can't hear you. I deserve it. I would deserve it because that's just. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Do you have kids? No uh, kids. Do you all have no kids? You what? I'm about to go back up to Fort Wayne. Rehab facility thing for my head. Your head? What do you mean by that? Um. Yeah, I mean, how could you not, right? Yeah. I mean, it's hard. Didn't you just say you got out of jail? 
for possession. And you're you were dealing drugs yesterday. What what? Huh? I don't know. Look, we're not the cops, bro. I don't know. What kind of drugs? Huh? Meth. You're you're dealing meth. Dealing and doing meth. I don't want to touch your shit. Because it could have something on it. So you're gonna bring a 14 year old and that piece of shit? Again, guys, welcome to Truth and Transparency. Um, again, this is a, a trigger warning, um, as well as a confidential informant told the police uh, back before this ever happened, um, coughed up this gentleman's name, and that they needed to look into him instead of uh, Keegan. So... A bunch of different connections that I was able to to dig out but the biggest one is that his name was mentioned prior to Alan ever being arrested this was one of the 70,000 tips um, and then this happens uh, circumstantial situations very similar uh, possibly two girls were involved uh, in that car that he was supposed to meet um, he doesn't meet him the first time he got scared then he has them walking different directions, turns off his phone, using the same applications, meet me. Um, neighbor to Tony Klein's girlfriend at the time of the homicides. And these little, t these little small towns, you're talking about, they want to use the word ring. Well, ring is multiple, multiple people. And they use the term the largest ring that they've ever encountered. So this episode was to introduce this and, and how if you compare February 13th events that day, um, especially with Libby recording uh, during that time frame, and I believe it was to say, you're not here, you're not where, like, or, or this is where we're at. I can't find you. Where are you guys? Well, we're right over here. Um, and then he says, well, I'm here too. And they're like, well, this is the only person that's here. You know what I mean? And then, you know, scanning that. Um, the Truth and Transparency channel is all about um, facts, uh, connecting dots, digging deeper, and eliminating things. But then also, this is educational People have small children. Like, this is what's going on. This is very, very, you know, not just in Indiana. This is happening all over the country, all over the world, um, especially with ever since, you know, social media, but technology in itself. Uh, Doug Carter repeatedly saying this is so complex. This is complex. This is complex. I believe that. I believe that it's complex. Um, I believe that it was not easy to get... You know, everybody hears this name, Richard Allen. Well, who's Richard Allen? And now nobody can find anything on Richard Allen. That's not by, that's not a, that, to me, that's not a coincidence. Uh, to me, Richard Allen is, is, is a weird character. He's very awkward. Um, everybody knows that person that's around that's you know says very few a man of very few words that's what Richard Allen seems like he doesn't want to have his picture taken he doesn't want to be in the limelight he wants to roll under the radar okay um, there's no digital footprint it's very very limited um, and then poof out of the blue one day gets picked up and arrested for this high-profile murder, murders um, from a guy that's seemingly, you know, but then you go back and you look at history and all these other people that have been, you know, accused and convicted of heinous crimes, and they fit that profile of like a Richard um, Allen. 
Uh, but what led them? How did they get there? Why did it take five and a half years? Um, you have you have video of the guy, you have audio of the guy, but then you're only going to release to the public, you know, three seconds of that. Um, how, when do you think that they had really Richard Allen? And when were they trying to then, hey, we know that he did it. We have to be able to prove it, though. It's all circumstantial. It's all so circumstantial. But then now we get to the point of where Richard Allen is right now. And now we're talking about due process. And Richard Allen, I mean, he is literally in prison, in undisclosed jail, rather. Um, has no idea why he's there and what evidence, nothing. He doesn't know like we don't know. Doesn't have a lawyer at this point. And... You just, you want to see Libby and Abby get justice and you want to make sure that that if this is as deep as people are going to try to say it is, that mistakes don't make it so that Libby and Abby can't get justice. So truth and transparency is exactly what the channel says. Um, I'm as transparent as I can possibly be. I get to the truth, whatever that may be whether it's popular, whether it's controversial, whether it's the unpopular. Um, my channel, I don't have a channel to uh, have friends. I have a channel to help families. Um, and I'm doing that in Pennsylvania right now. So, Again, I want to thank the mods. This was a very uh, trigger warning. Um, live. At, and during the middle of the day. So, thank you. There she is. Mod Squad. Thank you to her, mem her members and her subscribers. Um, Mod Squad gave away 10 new memberships yesterday on Sunday so um, but <clears throat> but basically these situations um, and and the circumstances with this gentleman because everyone wants to play out in their head like what happened on that February 13th well hearing it from this guy who's who's a complete fucking idiot who's a who's a piece of shit, garbage. Well, that's what a lot of these people are. You know, you're not dealing with um, any education. These people aren't, you know, graduated college and, I mean, no, he's a, he's a low life, um, timid fuck. Someone says that, oh, they're 14 years old and you're 39. The fuck? So yeah, that's just sick. But listening to it, if you really want to, you know, know more about the, this case, unfortunately, it, it involves children and it involves a horrible, horrible aspect of life. Um, but this right here, a confidential informant gave his name up, said you'd be looking at him. Keegan didn't do it. Gave his name up prior to this ever happening. The, meaning this situation right here that you're watching right now. Um, it was one of the 70,000 tips. And I went ahead and I just, I got that information. And I wanted to look way deeper into Randy. And I was able to conduct, uh, to connect some dots. Um, so, and the dots to me were the connection with, um, you know, this Dirk guy who was the neighbor of Tony alleged friend of Keegan, he was using the Meet Me app. Um, this guy, neighbor of Tony's girlfriend, he was using the Meet Me app, and boom, here we go. We're catching him red-handed right here. Um, and then the luring, the using the social a social media application to hey no come this way hey no go this way 
uh, possibly meeting up with multiple people, um, just like Abby and Libby, there was two people there. So, <clears throat> and I didn't know what I was doing. I mean, dude, yeah, dude. I was going. You were walking up and down. You were you were trying to get her to walk exactly to where you were. You were going to meet up with this girl and take her back to that. Shit, Are you serious? I'm not proud of it at all. I'm, I'm embarrassed and shame. So we've, we've established that you asked her to come here twice. Uh, we established that you were going to have her meet at the camper, right? Yes? yes. Okay. What were you going to do when you got to the camper? Smoke pot. I'm going to fool myself. Smoke pot. And what else did you state that you wanted to do? Something that wouldn't have happened. Wouldn't have happened. Okay, so your intent through shit. text messages, that's what I want to hear. What you said that you said through text message. What were you going to do with her when you got to the camper? Oh, man. The more detail, the better. It is embarrassing. That's what I was going to have sex with. Huh? You were going to have sex with Well, and not so... I know what what did what was the verbiage in there? What what did you exactly I say? Like I was talking to a grown adult, which is wrong. Fuck. I've got the text messages here. I, I, I want you to I want you to say because I don't want to read them out loud. So you know what she said. Just say it. Live your truth. Speak it. I don't know. I was gonna fuck shit up. So you're gonna fuck the shit up. Well, I mean, I can't remember exactly. I can't understand. You said what? I was gonna talk shit out of you. A new connection yeah, but, I mean, not exactly. is Randy. Randy was also the neighbor by 10 to 12 houses of Travis Trexler, the cousin of Keegan Klein. Sorry, sorry, you wouldn't have raped her. You would have had sex with her. I don't, I don't know, man. Huh? Oh, no, well, no, I don't want to. No, fuck. Well, she just sent a picture today, and you said, Yes, baby, I would like to fuck. Sliding my dick inside. Oh, oh, and that tongue just I looks mean. challenging, sweet. Damn, you kind of just made my Did I read that correctly? Yeah. And did you, did you text that, or somebody else has your phone? It was you. Um, are, are you coming down off Beth right now? Is that why you're kind of struggling here? I'm struggling because this is why I should know better. I mean, what do you mean by that? You're, not, you're never good at explaining yourself. I need you to explain yourself when you say something. You're going to say explain yourself. I know the difference right and wrong, and I even struggled with it in the conversations a little bit with it, and I made the wrong fucking decision. Repeat that first statement for me. I struggled. No, the first statement. You said, I know the difference between right and wrong. I know the difference between right and wrong, and I struggled with the whole situation. And, I mean, and I fucking made the wrong decision. You know, so to me, those text messages doesn't show much struggle. You struggled I, because you were sketched out. You didn't struggle to say sexual shit to who you thought was a 14-year-old child. Or a 14-year-old child. Did you? Didn't struggle. How long have you guys been talking? Um, like two days, three I don't uh, maybe four, I think. Yeah, a couple days now. Okay, a couple things I want to mention here. Uh, Travis Trexler, again, uh, cousin of uh, Keegan uh, Klein. But the big thing is that on that February 13th, there was that ping that happened at Country Club um, Road. And Travis's parents, as well as him, um, at that house, that's where Keegan's 
phone pinged at 8 a.m. on that February 13th, 8 a.m. with the Anthony Schatz account, 8 a.m. on February 13th. So Travis, um, Keegan, you got the Anthony Schatz account that pinged there. Uh, was was Keegan using that phone in the morning at that house? Was it Richard Allen? Was it somebody else? This gentleman here, I can't even say the word gentleman. This fucking idiot here uh, lived on the same street, 12 houses down from Travis as well. Just a couple, too, from uh, Klein's, Tony Klein's girlfriend, Travis and this dude, roughly 12 to 15 houses down. Travis, cousin of Keegan, that ping Anthony shots, 8 a.m. Country Club Road, at the residence of where Travis Trexler's parents rented from the Banks family. Um, the Banks family being tied to uh, Mexico, Indiana, which is Richard Allen's home area. That's where the Banks um, are from, grew up 10 P.O. boxes away, um, a couple streets away. The Banks and the Allens grew up, um, small, small town, USA. When you want to talk about, uh, when you're running from a place, Allen is allegedly, uh, supposedly have helped his mom, um, at different times, uh, when she was sick. What was Alan doing for a living? Did he help with the with the bank's residence at all uh, in terms of being like a landlord type of thing, fixing things because the banks were getting older? Uh, at the end of the day, um, Country Club Road, that address, Anthony Schatz, Keegan's phone's there. That's Travis Trexler's parents where they're residing. Um, this guy lived in the same street. Travis Trexler, as well as uh, the couple doors down neighbor of Keegan's dad's girlfriend. So, again, just connecting the dots here for everybody. And then your big, your big moment with this is that before this ever happened, this guy, by a confidential informant, well known to um, ISP as well as the different local departments, coughed up this guy's name and said, you need to look at him. Keegan didn't do it back before, again, this ever happened, this video, this situation, because this was live when it happened. May 30th, to be exact. You reached out to her and said, hey, cutie, how's your day? She said, good, what about you? You said, shit, boring, I'm by myself. Might you want to hang out? This is, again, bef this is before the age. You were just asking a girl to hang out. She says, where are you from? How old are you? You said, I'm from Peru and I'm 39. How about yourself, dear? She says, Wabash, 14, nice to meet you. You said, what the fuck? You're only 14, good Lord, my bad. Nice to meet you also. She said, I don't care, LOL. You said, what you mean you don't care? Care, explain. So I don't feel so much like a cradle robber. And then you try to video chat her. Immediately. What, what were you going to say in that video chat? I don't remember. Was you high when you are making those statements? Now I went back and checked <clears throat> to see where the cities were that were um, the metadata that was being sent from. So the Anthony Schatz account, any uh, accounts that was on Keegan's phone, when they took those those phones in, uh, there was one iPhone, uh, an iPad Touch, there was a uh, Samsung Galaxy, there was a, a 3, a 4, and then that 5C. So there's five, five um, devices. From those five devices, 
They, the geolocation on the images came back to cities that included Bunker Hill, uh, Galveston, Indianapolis, Kokomo, um, Royal Center, Monterey, and the Kokomo is like the Peru area. Um, that's where we're at right here. Conversation sound like you struggled I immediately called her. Did you struggle with the age? Leave me to believe not, huh? She says, haha, I'm not five. You said, but you're not 18 either, and you are sexy as fuck. Really weird there that, you know, she said, haha, I'm not five. Well, I think that was a bait question, obviously, to see, you know, what he would say, but in everything that was coming back from all those, the dumps on the phones and the cell bright dumps of the devices. I think she's saying five for a reason uh, because there was a lot of way, way, way young um, ages being Googled and stuff like that. Uh, this is, um, it's, this is real life. This is horrible. Um, but this is what happened on February 13th. This is how this happened. And a confidential informant coughed up this guy's name to the point of this video was never made because the situation didn't happen yet. And then here it happens. Um, and there are connections and there are ties to him with the people that have been looked at. I thought you was way older, Dorcas. And they're all doing it the same way. They're all using these, the, the meet me. She said, well, I'm not silly. What are you on though? She, you said, shit, I don't know, a bored young lady. You refer to her as young lady. Trying to find me a sexy companion to go adventuring with. What are you allowed to do with a guy old enough to be your dad? Mm. She said, what kind of adventure? Uh, Laugh my ass off, whatever he wants. He references the daddy reference uh, that was referenced with, uh, with the stuff that had to do with, that was on um, Keegan's phone with all the different, um, he had different uh, usernames. What do you mean allowed? You said, I don't know, an adult adventure, drug, sex, rock and roll, silly adult shit. Man, send me a picture. I don't believe you're that young. She sends a picture and then you say, do you remember what you said after that first picture? You said, are you driving? You're a little wild fucker, aren't you? Probably already taking the D and shit. What, what do you mean, the D? Can you explain what the D means? Sorry. This is where we're good. Okay, you you being honest is gonna help you. I, the, 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 um, dick. Okay, the dick. She said, "Ha ha, no, I'm not driving." You said, "Who's that? You guys want to hang or what, silly? Please don't tell no one about us. Talking or what not, it could get me into out of trouble, my dear. So what up? You tell me what's going on." She said, "Laugh my ass off. Ain't no snitch." He said, good. She said, but she kind of lame, so I don't know if she, you're trying to chill with all of us. You said, what do you mean, lame? Shit, you gonna free of her or what? You chill or what? So, pretty quickly, you were, you're pretty adamant about hanging out with this 14-year-old. Is that correct? All right, guys. Again, truth and transparency. Uh, click that thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, this is my exclusive coverage with the Delphi case. You can find it under uh, the playlist, um, Delphi exclusive, connecting the dots, and Delphi. Um, I'll be adding this uh, to that playlist as well as a couple of the other um, episodes that I did over, I think it was Friday night and Sunday night. I'll be adding those. Um, I do have a couple lives and pre-recorded videos 
uh, scheduled for this week uh, that has to do with the Marathon gas station as well as um, stuff that's surrounding uh, what to expect and what should be happening in terms of due process for Richard Allen um, with the probable cause affidavit. I do thank you guys for being kind in chat. Um, until next time, truth and transparency, appreciate you. Thank you. And then don't forget Sunset Secrets episode four uh, is dropping is this evening. But the arrest of Richard M. Allen of Delphi on two counts of murder is sure a major step in leading to the conclusion of this long-term and complex investigation. this long-term and complex investigation of this long-term and complex investigation of this long-term and complex investigation.